Uh, right guys, this is a quick tutorial on um, how to install and uh, set up the Dazzle, your Dazzle capture card to work properly. Um, because when I first got it, when I first got my Dazzle and the um, the software that came with it, which is the Pinnacle Instant DVD recorder, um, it com it the it only it didn't you weren't allowed to like edit and convert it to anything you wanted. The Instant DVD recorder would only convert it to um, VOB, .VOB, which is a DVD file, which um, most software editing programs like Sony Vegas and um, Windows Movie Maker, they don't accept it as a file type that you can edit with. Um, but firstly, um, I'm going to show you the exact, um, what's it, the exact software, the exact, no, the exact Dazzle that I have, because there are quite a few variations of the Dazzle. I think I've got the cheapest one. I think some more expensive ones um, have different software that m that allows you to do more with it. So this is the um, I'll show you which one I have. I'll just because I got it from Amazon, so I'll just go to Amazon. Um, this this is the one I have, the Pinnacle Dazzle DVD recorder on my computer. It's called the Dazzle DVC one hundred. So Dazzle DVC 100 is the exact model I have. Um, if you're going by buying one, it's the it's the cheaper one on Amazon. It's 40 40 pound here, but I got it for cheaper when it was on sale. And um, the more expensive one, which is this, the platinum version, I think that comes with better software. So if you have the better version, or you're going to buy the better version, I don't think this tutorial um, this tutorial will help you because I think that comes with better editing software. But anyway, so I got the Pinnacle Dazzle DVD recorder, the cheaper one. It's um, my one's white like that. I think also you can get a red one that's the same. I think it's a different color, but I think it's the, the same basic model. But I'm not too sure on that. So that's the um, this is the one I have. Wait for the picture to load. Yeah, that's the one I have. It's white. Um, anyway, so once you get it. Um, what you do is you you insert the disc, you install it, and then once it's all installed, that's when you connect your Dazzle. You connect it after it's installed. Don't have it installed. Don't have your Dazzle connected before. Um, this isn't a tutorial also to how to set up the Dazzle with the TV because there's tons of tutorials out there how to connect up the wires and everything. This is just a, a strictly software um, tutorial. Right. So once you've got your instant DVD recorder. Which is the the di there's a disc that comes the it comes with the um like the driver disc. There's one disc you get in the pack and it includes all the read me's. It includes this piece of software, the instant DVD recorder, and it includes the drivers for whatever Dazzle you have. So once you've installed that and you've got your Dazzle connected and it's done whatever software done whatever recognizing hardware it does in the bottom corner, um you open Dazzle DVD recorder. Instant DVD recorder. And now from here, you can see I've already got it. I've already I've turned my PlayStation 3 on, so you can. So I'm going to record a bit and show you how to convert it. Um, firstly, you want to select from the first option. I also, that's my webcam. I don't know what the Pinnacle file capture is, but you want to select what the Dazzle you have. So here it's the Dazzle DVC 100. And um, if you see nothing on the screen. Um, this is two things. If you're using the the standard AV cables, which was the um, the yellow, the white, and the red, and you're using it via that, then you want to click on video composite. But I am using S video because S video is a is a lot better quality um, to record in. Uh, so I have it under S video. Um, <clears> the <throat> uh, PAL or NTSC depends whether you're in. Europe or America. If you're in America, it's NTSC. If you're in Europe, it's PAL. I don't. I don't think the others are important. I can't remember what the others stand for, but PAL and NTSC are the two you want. Uh, leave that unticked. Um, so that should be okay. And then um, it's just where you want to save to. So I've got my um, hard drive. It's just where you want to save to. There you can browse and pick where you want to save the output file to. Uh, this is a thing, the third one, the select menu style. This is for um, if you were copying a DVD and you want menus, but seeing as I'm just recording my PS3, it's like it every three minutes there'll be a new chapter 
with one of the pre-selected menus. But from what I'm doing, I don't want any menus because I'm not making a DVD or anything. This is what it's made. It's, it's supposed to be used for creating DVDs and stuff, but you can use it to record games consoles. Um, so I click no for that. And then for quality, I always pick best because I think it, I always want the best quality. And then it says select a total recording time. So I always go for, I always go for, say, I always like enter like like that, 9999, because you can stop the recording at any time. I just don't want it to stop automatically. And um, once you've done that, once you've picked the folder you want it into and everything, you just go to start recording. Okay, apparently that's not a valid recording time. I put too many nines. Um, right, I know that, but you put just put in a big time. For now, I'm not going to re record, I'm just going to record a few seconds, so I'll just say 12 minutes randomly. Um, and then it should start recording. Um, I'll just. And you should be able to hear there'll be audio, although I'm recording audio from my mic. You can hear the preview as well as the preview screen here. You'll also this depends on if you that's mute and unmute. You should be able to hear the audio through your um, computer. And um, so right, I'll stop recording. And then it says you can play it in a DVD player, which doesn't really matter. And then all you just do is exit once you've finished recording. Now um what you need to do, go to where you saved it um, I saved it here huh, that's the Dazzle tutorial that I'm doing now, what I'm recording now um, and here you'll see it's in um, you'll see it's in DVD format um, there, you can see there and there, it's, it's in and this won't be accepted in Vegas or anything so what you got to do then is you got to go to um, his website, it's convertvob to avi.com. Um, I'll get it up now. You already know how slow my internet is, so any apologies. Um, it's convertvob to avi.com. And um, this is going on about, it's what you can do, it's. Um, it just shows you what you can convert the uh, VOB file that automatically comes out of the Pinnacle DVD recorder and then um, you just click on download and then from there you just download it. It says it works on XP 2000, 2003 and Vista um, I'm using it on Vista so I can't I can't say if it works on the other operating systems but it should be able to and anyway, once you've downloaded that and installed it you should get this this little program which will convert 